What's going on, YouTube? Graves in the here, and welcome to episode 14. As always, I'd like to start with uh, what I've done in between episodes, and uh, this time around, it was actually a, a decent amount. Well, depends on who you ask, right? If you ask me, it was a good amount, because I had to uh, mess with a few things. So, if you ask you, maybe not that much. So, let's actually start uh, start over here. So, I've added an off-ramp from here, and I'm not sure if this is temporary for now or not, depending on how we expand the city out this way, but uh, an off-ramp coming out over here. And then another, actually, an arm going under right here. What you are seeing here is a new connection for the railroad as well. So coming around this way, and this is new over here also. If you recall, in the last episode, we started zoning some high density kind of right over here. So all I did from here, from there to here is I've kind of just moved everything and uh, put it to put it all right here. So now when you're looking from, I don't know, like right here, you can kind of see the, the taller buildings starting out over on, on that side. So that's going to be our, our transition from here, kind of like into here possibly as well, and then going down this way. Now over, let's see, over here, so obviously this road is, is brand new. It's got the off-ramp right here. It also has a on-ramp right here. And speaking of on-ramps, well, not really on-ramps, actually, just um, additional roads, pass-through roads. I turned this segment of highway here into a three-lane highway, and then I added this little on-ramp, off-ramp road coming all the way down through here, under the bridges, under the railroad tracks, and connecting right over here. And that was the, remember I mentioned, was it last episode, the episode before last, that I would do something like that? The original idea was to connect it right here. However, since we have this stuff right here, I decided to kind of sneak it under the bridge, the highway, and just connect it right there. Uh, let's see, over here. So I haven't eliminated the roundabout just yet. However, I did add a connection. So just a through street right over here. Hooked it up to the bridge right here. And for, for now, it's, it's doing okay. There's minimal traffic here, the slightest backup. But I will... I will say this is acceptable for now. And I, I, I don't think this pass-through looks bad either. I think it looks uh, quite nice. And then you may have noticed some trees and whatnot, foliage everywhere. I did put in the trees next to the railroad tracks just to, you know, get rid of the noise pollution. Uh, oh, we do have a TV station. That's what this unique building is right here. City Skylines 1. That's our TV station right there. We do have a couple of services here too, a uh, firehouse, a hospital, or clinic actually, and a police uh, police station, and a crematorium. And then one of you guys mentioned that some of these um, office buildings won't upgrade to level 3 because we have the, um, what do you call it now, high-rise band, the high-rise band. So, as you can see, that building is almost level three. And as soon as we add a little bit more coverage, they will upgrade to to level three. So you'll see, it'll be level three, just not uh, not super tall. And then I think lastly, before we dig in, is I went and I terraformed a little bit over here. I think I mentioned it in one of the uh, the previous episodes that I wanted to add some more fishing industry. So that's what's going to go right around this area here. I do have kind of a just a straight line offset layout right here, which is going to be our our downtown, possibly an IT cluster over here for for the tallest buildings. 
And we have a little bit of a um, levels, if you will, coming down this way. And I think that's going to just help give these taller buildings an even taller feel once we put them here and then kind of zone some lower density down this way. So I think that's actually everything. We are at 1.9 million. We just hit a academic year report. Um, let's actually take a look at this real quick before we move forward. So uh, reputation level, recognize previous re-air, recognize so we have not gone up a level. Academic work, we have three, so we only gained one student. We gained 53 from, from last year. Campus attractiveness went up to or an additional 280. Tuition fee still stayed at 7%. Exchange bonus is the same. So it actually, everything stays the same unless you move up a level so we didn't really unlock anything we're still level two um but as i was saying 1.9 in the bank 23,000 coming in per week 27,000 population we have a good demand for residential commercial and an even bigger demand for industrial so i know i want to I want to start expanding the campus. I really do. However, since we did not advance this academic year, hopefully next one we will. So let's go ahead and start another academic work. Let's go hospitality this time around. We're not going to increase any academic staff. Again, we didn't go up a level. Students. So we need one additional academic work. We also need to increase our students to 800 in order to, to reach level three. So hopefully that happens as we zone a little bit more. And you know what? Let's we'll go ahead and fill all of this in right here. And then I'd like to... Fill all of that and all of that. And yes, I saw you right there. And we'll do that too. So that's kind of weird. I wonder why that's there. Huh. That was pretty weird. Oh, well. Um... Where was I? Whoa. Okay, so we're gonna have to raise the terrain over there a little bit once we unlock that uh, that tile. But, okay, all right, so a couple of things I'd like to do in this episode is add some, some additional fishing industry right over here. I would like to transition from this side of the highway into this side over here as well. And kind of sort of have have this little triangle right here completed and this area right here completed by the time we finish this episode. So let me give that some thought. Let me see how exactly I want to go through here and this right here. It's actually self-explanatory here, really. Uh, so we'll start with this and I'll be right back. See you soon. All right, guys, so I'm not sure if any of you know exactly what this is or what it means. But this is the logo of my favorite soccer team, which is Juventus. And it has been actually since, uh, oh boy, I want to say 1996. Yeah, about 90, uh, 96. I actually still have a uh, Del Piero jersey alessandro del piero so the idea here is going to be to build a soccer stadium and that is why i have put the uh, the logo right there this is going to be juventus football club and their color is not red it was actually black and white so let's go ahead and adjust those i'm actually gonna uh 
adjust it to white just because I think it looks nicer. And there we go. That's that. We have a soccer field in our city. It's going to be cool. Hopefully this uh, this team in our city is as good as a real life Juventus. That'll fit there just fine. And I'm going to come over here. See if we can hook in. We can perfect right there. And I think that should be uh should be just a okay. But I'm pretty excited about this, man. Look at this. It's beautiful. I think when we're looking from the top down, with all the big uh, big and tall buildings and everything, this is gonna stand out really nicely. Cool. Yay. All right. Pretty uh pretty excited about that. If you can't uh, if you can't tell. So let's go ahead. Looks like this some some way somehow already has pow oh power from there. Okay, so we're good. We're powered up. Um, next match is going to be. I think that's March first of twenty thirty six. So next year, three months from now, actually. So we'll uh, we'll keep an eye on that, and then what I think we should do here is build some. Uh, some parking lots. So let me show you guys how to do that. And these are by no means going to be functional parking lots, but we're going to call them parking lots nonetheless. And actually, let's go ahead and hook up. There we go, something like that. And we'll grab the orange. Turn off all of this and get as close over here as we can. Perfect. And now what we're going to do is we are going to go through and turn off all of these lights. And from a far away, it actually looks like a parking lot, right? And then we're, we're going to extend it. Hopefully this will. It's not. It's not going to go out this way. That's okay. No problem. Let's come. And we will start another row. Sure, why not? We'll do we'll do that. Just like so. Actually, I keep forgetting to uh, to connect them. So let's connect. Good. We could do that. It's not gonna look. Well, what if? I don't know. I guess we'll uh, we'll leave it and see what it looks like later. Once we get everything in, let's uh, let's put this in. But this is uh, this is pretty exciting to me, at least. here and then why not continue the trend just like so are we going to be able to put in I think we will perfect all right that looks good then maybe a few trees right there a couple of trees right here and you see some folks are already um, 
lining up for a match. Let's see how many people we have in the stadium. 35 so far, not bad. We do have to get some uh, mass transit in here as soon as possible. Get rid of all of these. Get rid of that as well. And then over here, we could get a little bit of creative. And do something. I don't know, something, something all the way down down this way maybe put one of those uh, horse statues in here or something by the way the uh, the Juventus logo used to be a bull and the old logo actually still uh, still has the bull we'll do something like that to put in a tree or two Kind of hide some of these imperfections here. There we go. That looks nice already. And then I believe... There he is. So maybe this guy is just right there. Holy smokes, that's a lot of cars trying to get in here. Look at this line. Oh, and we have lights. All right, we'll get rid of those. Sorry about that, guys. That no, we'll get rid of those as well. Those are already off. This is definitely going to be busier now. And there we go. But you see, like you have you have the stadium there. These definitely looks like uh, like parking lots from a far away. Again, you don't have to tell anyone that they're not. The only the only thing that could make this better is that they were they were actually filled up. Holy smokes! This is going to be one hell of a game, folks. Uh, let's see if we provide an additional way in, if anyone will use it. What if we curve it? That's too much curve. Something like that. Get rid of that light. We'll get rid of that light. And we could even upgrade that. So sadly, it doesn't look like anyone will use that, but that's okay. Over here, just for fun, I'm going to extend this district over here. By the way, I also clean up the districts or the names at, uh, at the very least. Just got rid of those. I'm going to extend this one. Out to here. And then here we're going to zone some additional offices. Here we can go a little bit of commercial. And then some more offices. And we'll leave this blank here for now. But yeah, that's it. That's that's our stadium. And it actually took up a good chunk too. Chunk of room. And right now I'm just thinking what kind of mass transport we should put in uh, put in here. Whether it's going to be a uh, a metro station, maybe somewhere right over here. Possibly a metro station somewhere over here as well, so we can get some actual action through these parking lots. I don't know. 
I don't know, we'll see, but I think uh, I think for now it's a good start. Good start, I like it. Alright guys, so if you can't hear that, I'm going to turn up the volume a little bit. Ah, I love that. Uh, I love that sound. I really do. So that's our match in progress right now. We we have what? I think it's a it's a full month's worth of a worth of game. So we'll see if we win our first match or not. To incentivize a win, I'm gonna go into policies. I'm not sure if this is gonna work right away or not, but we're gonna. We're gonna put in this one, subsidized youth. That's gonna be a policy all across the um, the city. But what it does is uh, we spend money on training young players. The team has increased odds to win, which is what we want. It applies to all stadiums, and it costs nine thousand per week. I think this is uh, per stadium as well. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Uh, come on, come all to make it easier for fans because public transport is free. So unfortunately, we don't have um, public transport going to the stadium just yet. However, I am going to enable it just for when we do. And match security. Yeah, why not? So, okay. All right, cool. It's going to be uh, it's going to be fun to see if we actually end up winning this uh, this game. And I'm pretty sure we would fill all the seats if we were able to get these folks in here quicker. Which currently we cannot, sadly. So we'll uh, we'll wait and see if we end up winning that match or not. So I've achieved what I wanted to achieve so far. Fill in this little area right here. I think that's going to look uh, look pretty nice. And again, kind of that same height, same transition from from this side onto this side right here, and then over here, taller buildings and whatnot down uh, down that way. So I think for now, then let's start let's start working on some additional fishing industry. So we have the salmon fishing harbor. Actually, let me see. We have anchovy, a bunch of anchovy right here. So I think a good idea would be to put an anchovy if we had it. Salmon, anchovy, we do, perfect. So we'll add that. Right there, we'll create. I honestly don't know if this is gonna be enough or not. We don't even have power to the building yet. one of these right there temporarily just so we can see so I'm gonna see if a short route like this is gonna be enough to fill up at least 50% of this uh, this boat Almost. So I think it has to be over 50% in order to avoid this uh, this message, which says low fishing route efficiency. So let's take a look. So we could actually, we could very easily. Extend out in that way, and then let's see if it's gonna gonna make a difference. Oops. So that's thirty. It's about halfway, I would say. So 
So that's 50. All right, so we're good. And that's that little sign should go away now. Perfect. All right, so we're good. We're good. The efficiency is just a okay. I think we can also put in. Oof, I don't know if this is going to work. I'm going to see if I can add another one right in there. And this one's now going to be pretty weird. See if we can get a decent curve here. So that's not bad. Okay, I'll take it. And then uh, what we can do to fill in the area here, and I've toyed around with this within in one of my other cities, is we can put in like a fishing pier right here, and another one. Pretty close right there. And then a couple of marinas, maybe one here, maybe one right there. We can put a restaurant on an angle, just like so. Actually, we're going for realism. One should be right there. Can we put another marina here? We can, perfect. This way you can still get the, uh, the boats out. And what can we squeeze in here? So we have the restaurant pier. Oh, you know what? If you put two of these together, they look a little bit different because of the colors. So that's kind of cool. Uh, but I don't want two of those. I think we have the jet ski rental. Yeah. So we'll put one of those right there as well. Okay, so I think that should be... Okay, for now, let's go ahead and connect this fishing route. And I know it's been uh, it's been way longer than a month, so we're gonna have to go and check on our team, see how we did. Oh, you know what? We don't have we don't have enough. We don't have enough anchovy. What's purple? It's salmon, and I think we actually have a uh, salmon farm also. So let me get rid of that. Can we squeeze a salmon farm in here too? Anchovy, salmon, oh, perfect. All right, so we're gonna extend this one a little bit further down, down this way and hope that it works. And if it doesn't, what we'll do is we'll just turn it into a regular fishing pier. And um, we're not fishing pier, but the regular fishing building, if you will, fishing dock, if that's what it's called. Why is it not connected? What's going on here? There it is. Okay. All right. Let's follow. Actually, we'll come back and see if we get that notification. Did we win? Fingers crossed. We won. Perfect. Oh, we made 140,000 on this match. Nice. Nice. And uh, traffic wise, yes, this is uh, this is happening right here. So I think before before we do anything, we'll, we'll try a roundabout, see if that works. Um, I'm not really seeing any cars making a right right here. And they're using this, which is which is definitely good and kind of preventing some of that right there. Okay. All right, and it looks like our fishing route was not good enough. Where are we? We are, well, that's 50%. Maybe it's gotta be 51%. Let's see, 47, 49, 50, 51, 52, is that enough? No, maybe 60. So let's see, Is it, can we extend it? We can just a little bit actually. So we'll get rid of that. I mean, it's gonna be a super, 
super duper tight turn right here. Hopefully they don't get stuck on the shoreline. All right, let's follow. We'll follow this fella. Okay, this this has to be better. We have to be able to get rid of that notification now. Perfect. All right, that should be good enough. And let's see, traffic here, still bad, still bad. Where are we traffic wise? 84%, still not terrible, but I don't wanna be there. So I'll, I'll work on fixing that in between episodes and I'll show you guys how and what, but it is more than likely gonna be a, gonna be a roundabout. I'm just, I'm not a roundabout guy. I would love to have something else here. If you have any other ideas other than a roundabout, put them down in the comments box below and I'll be sure to at least give them a shot, see if they'll work. But give me something functional, don't give me um, something non-functional, if you will, an idea at the very least. Now, what I'd like to do also, since we have, I think a little bit of time, I don't know if we're at 30 minutes yet or not, is I'd like to come through here and just start on some uh, some IT cluster, possibly right here and just in this area right here. And let me see, I'm gonna do that right there. And so how to get an IT cluster in is you've gotta make a district first and foremost, just like so. Okay, and then you have to come office specialization right there and turn it into an IT cluster. And you can also see what it does, right? IT cluster is an office specialization that changes the office buildings into high tech buildings, requires 50% less workers, consumes 30% more electricity and generates 30% more tax revenue. So this isn't really good for, for getting a bunch of um, bunch of the industry demand to go away. But they just look so darn nice. We'll do that. We'll, we'll see what they come uh, come in as. These are just one level there. There's no level one, two or three. So we'll see what they look like when uh, when they zone in. And we'll go from there. So I, I'm, I'm stoked that we won our, our first match. I really am. I'm gonna do some more detailing in between the episodes. But just so we can so we can have something like that right now. Whoa, look at these. So from here, you see how nice it looks right there? I love it. I really do. And then what we're going to do around here. So we'll, we'll make all of this kind of like the, the IT cluster I mentioned before over here, we're going to have some lower density buildings, maybe a mixed zone. And then over here, after we put in the roundabout, of course, is, um, we're just going to have some regular high density, right? So they're going to be a little bit shorter than these, uh, than these buildings right here. I'm not the biggest fan actually of of these little ones. So we can get rid of those and wait for for taller ones to come in. Yeah, these are all way too small. Get rid of all of them. That was a little bit nicer. That one's not good. And that one's not good. Power wise though, we can that right there. I'm going to see if we invest 
in a large firehouse as well as a police headquarters. And then we could even put in a hospital right there. That should be okay. What can we put here to connect? Oh, my little trick. Let's try that. Put it right there. Oh, there we go. That actually worked already. So cool. All right. I like it. I do. I like I like how it's how it's coming along. I think it's going to look uh, pretty darn nice. So, I'm going to leave you guys with uh with that. We've accomplished everything that, that I kind of wanted to in this episode at the very least. This was definitely a bonus. So was this. I didn't plan on on putting in any IT cluster. So they look uh, they look really really nice. What I'll work on in between episodes is a a roundabout here, but then again, if you guys give me some better ideas on how to fix this, I'll give that a shot too and see if it uh, if it works or not, and we'll go from there. But it's not bad. It's not bad. I mean, it's just any any city really has traffic. I don't want to say any city, but most cities do, and that may be just what's uh what's going on here. So I'll leave you with that. As always, be the best that you can be in everything that you do. And I will see you guys on the next one.